explorers. My name is Hillary, and this is Dewey. We're your local library explorers, discovering and learning about the world around us through books. Are you ready for today's adventure? You are? Good, because today is a very special adventure. Can you guess why? Not that. That's a good guess, but not that either. Today's adventure is special because we are learning about the Métis Sash. See right here? Dewey was very kindly gifted this from my friend Lee, from the Métis Nation of Ontario, who is gonna be joining us today. She's gonna to help us discover about this very important sash. Are you ready? Before we get going, let's remember our Library Explorer Pledge. I promise to have an open mind, open ears, open eyes, and an open heart. Let's get exploring. Hello, Library Explorers. It's me, Lee, also a Library Explorer. So I wanted to talk to you today about uh, something of the Métis culture. I work for the Métis Nation of Ontario, and I wanted to show you guys Métis sashes that are traditional from Métis culture. So I will show you the two different ones that I have here. More traditionally than not, you will see something that looks similar to this. And they come in different um, different colors. They um, they have different sizes depending if you're an adult or a child. So these traditional sa sashes were originally made from plants and wool mixed together, and they were hand woven. So they were always made by hand. And these had a lot of purposes. They were used uh, sometimes for, in place of saddle blankets, they were used for ropes, they were used for washcloths. So they were very practical and they were very, very strong um, because um, the Métis people were traveling on the bison hunt and things like that. So they needed them uh, to be used for many different things. So I also wanted to talk to you guys about the different colors. So the colors in a Métis sash often represent something different. For example, the green stands for the forest, the leaves, all the beautiful things we see in nature. The blue stands for the water and the sky. And the yellow, as you can see, stands for the sun. And you will see some black in the coloring, and that is often used to represent the hard times that the Métis people went through. And as you can see from this one here, that um, its main color is yellow. So you can tell that, you know, being outside in the sunshine was, was very important to somebody, to the person who made it. And even though they're not used the same way as they were back then, traditionally, um, they're still very much a source of pride for Métis people to show other people the, their culture and to rejoice all the things that, that come with being Métis. Well, thank you for joining me, Library Explorers, on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you next time. Bye! Wasn't that fun, Explorers? I learned so much today. How about you? What did you learn today? Oh, I love learning about that. I think if I had a sash, it would be all green because I love the forest so much. What about you? What color would your sash be? Let me know in the comments below, or better yet, come into the library Hillary. and let me know. Oh, okay. I've got to go for another library adventure. But before I go, Let's take a moment and thank Lee for coming on our adventure today. Can we do it on three? Are you ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Lee. Good job, guys. I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye for now.